Leonard? You're there. I'll be back in a minute with a cup of tea. busy time since I last spoke to you. Well, I've not done a vlog on my own for about two weeks now. Um, the last one I put up was about my birthday and thank you so much for all those delightful comments that you all put up. So absolutely beautiful. It was over a month ago now but I've still got the balloons in the living room. What else have I been doing? Oh uh, yeah, Rachel okay. We've been to Canny Cross. We did a vlog together. And now we've got to Advent Sunday, my living room, on Friday. I started to give you a little bit of a hint about what I was going to do for Vlogmas, and it involves sticks, not a set of scales. And I have got my sticks here. Now, I wanted to show you what I'm doing, but what I've got to do first is to cut my sticks into lengths. So I'm going to, today on this vlog, which is my prequel to Vlogmas, I'm going to prep my tree. So I'm going to pop you onto time lapse. I'm going to put on some beautiful advent music, crossing her fingers that so she can find it. And let's make the tree for the trees. to change it. I'm about to take Poppy and Maggie out. I've cut all the logs, I've sanded them, I've currently got them on the radiators just to get that last little bit of dampness out. I've got more sticks if any of them are splinter and when I get back I want to put them together which I'll put you on time lapse again for and hopefully because I've now got epidemic sounds I can find a nice advent hymn to put on. See the tick. And uh, back they come. Number one. Come on, number two, dog. Might have to edit that out. Oh, look at that. We've had some snow. And the sun is just going down. So I sort of take the view that if I go for a nice gentle walk, the girls can have a nice gallop. Even got frozen, frozen water there. Look at that. Poppy, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to be able to do because I think my little dog has got her nose into everything. She was very naughty last week. She caught something she shouldn't have caught and it was quite embarrassing. There go. She's not obviously had a swim. They like to go swimming in there. say I have to stop the camera when somebody else comes towards me because Maggie does like to jump up and say hello which a lot of people don't mind but some people do mind it's just gorgeous isn't it up there towards us the sun is just setting behind the school over there and I think with that beautiful view there I think I'm just going to turn off now until I get home <laughs>
so that is the tree for the trees, a tree of trees. It's, it's all natural materials. But why have I chosen to do a tree of trees? And before we start Vlogmas, I thought it would be really good to explain my thought processes behind what it is I'm planning to do. And it basically goes back to sustainability, what Rachel and I were talking about on Friday night. We've all got fabric. I'm not going to say we've all got fabric, I shall take that back. Many of us have got a good choice of fabric in our houses. Fabric that we've bought, fabric that we've still got it in. And I thought it would be really good to use what I've got. Now, I don't want to buy any new fabric, but I have just seen some in Bugweeds. Put them down below. It's the Makeover Scandi Christmas range. And I think it will match in with the stuff I've got already because I am lacking a little bit of red. And I do like the red, white and green of the Christmas colours. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a very simple tree pattern and I'm going to make a little quilted tree to put on the tree every single day for Advent. I have found my bunting, it is on the dining room table. I have got my children's stockings out and I will bring those into Vlogmas within the next week or so. So, going back to this, it's a question of, it's not a frugal Christmas, it's a sustainable Christmas. I don't want to buy anything else. I don't need anything else. I don't need to do this. This is fun, This is I'm choosing to do it. So in that case, let's use what I've got before I go buying anything else. That's the only reason that I've gone for this particular item. And I thought anybody could use it with any scraps of material. So if you fancy joining me, um, I can't tell you what my Christmas trees are going to be like each day. I've got various different patterns and I shall just change and chop, chop and change the material and maybe do a little bit of embroidery on them. I just do not know. It's going to be whatever takes my fancy. And the other thing is, if for any reason a vlog doesn't go up, don't panic. The internet here is absolutely dreadful. I took the joint vlog with Rachel to her house yesterday before we uploaded it. I wanted her to see it because it was a shared vlog. So we saw it and literally I'd, I hadn't even had a chance to sort of write the name of the vlog in and it was 32% uploaded. Which is that was a big shock for me. I can take them to school but I don't want to do that. I want to upload them here. Hi there. So we are now really approaching the eve of Advent. And um, I went shopping tonight. I'm just going to insert a little clip as to what. So I come in to rituals today, and there's a lovely rituals lady here. And I have succumbed to the rituals advent calendar, and apparently it becomes a village. I've actually come in to buy this, which is their lovely uh, foaming hand soap, which I use in my downstairs toilet. And a certain stitched up lady wants some as well. So there you go, Rachel, there's yours. One each. And. I saw this and it's the 2019 advent calendar which builds into a village with lights. So I thought, why not? Why not just go for it? So there you go. So as you can see, the lady in rituals was quite excited about the idea of my vlog. She's taking the name and she's going to, um, to watch it and she's going to tell them to watch it. So that's hopefully two subscribers. And if you are watching it, hello and welcome aboard. So what did I go and buy? I bought this. So how beautiful is this? It is an advent calendar and I'm going to leave the camera just where it is there. It's got um, a star on the top, that's number 24. So this is going to be an advent of exciting things. Tomorrow I make the first tree to go on my Christmas tree and it's something I saw online, it's sort of like advent trees. And put you onto time lapse, put some nice sparky Christmas music on and let's put it together. <laughs> will be on tomorrow's first vlogmas and I am getting ready I've got my patterns here oh, my patterns here 
inspiration booklet. Made some, I've actually made notes this year, last week, last year I sort of fumbled at it. And I've got underneath here my cutting board and everything. I'm all ready to go. Actually, before I go, I'm just going to tell you what I'm wearing. Because I don't think you've seen this. Uh, this is one of my other Norwegian knits. Um, it goes all the way around. And I must have knitted it about 15 years ago. They, these things, I can remember when I started them, but I can never remember when I finished them. The first one I started in 19... 1996 and they take a good year plus to knit because you can't do them all the time and I get cramp in my fingers as I've mentioned before but this one is lovely and it's got the proper buttons and things at the front um, I'd love to finish this now but I know I need to go and get this vlog uploaded so until tomorrow with ooh, Christmas fabric and Christmas trees I will see you tomorrow Bye.